Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we review productivity apps for personal and business use and also make tutorials about the apps that we like the most. Today we're going to review ClickUp. This application will help you manage your projects, tasks and events, track time and collaborate with your team. Let's start. ClickUp is an app that claims to be a productivity app that can replace all the other apps that you use on a daily basis, like a task manager, a project manager, documents and spreadsheets, and other apps. In this review, we're going to focus on the project management side of it, but we will mention some of the other features as well because they help with project management. And for this review, we're using the business version. Logging into ClickUp will bring you to the latest folder you were working on. A folder is a project, but they call them folders because you might be using the app for other purposes. To add a project, click on the plus button, then select new folder, and complete the fields or choose a template. In each project, you will see all the tasks related, grouped by list and status. On the top bar, you can find the project menu that will help you to change the view, use filters, and search for records. You have different views to choose from, and you can also create your own. To add a new task, Click on any of the new task buttons and complete the fields. If you click on any of the tasks, you will open it. Here you will see a lot of information related to the task, including any custom fields. To open a different project, just click on it. Each project can have a different set of views that you can customize to suit each particular project. Something I notice is that there is no project details section, so you won't be able to add a description to the project or other fields that are directly related to the project. You can only add custom fields to tasks. On the left, you will find the navigation bar that you can use to search for records or navigate between the different modules. If you open the home module, you will see information about your tasks and calendar. In spaces, you will find all your projects. And on the bottom, you will be able to access your profile and company settings. Overall, I really like the design and the way this app is organized. ClickUp has a lot of features that I like, but here are the ones that I like the most. In any project, you can embed external apps or websites like Google Sheets, Docs, Maps, and more that are related to the project. With this, you could add a document that describes the project and has information about it. Another feature I like is goals. You can create goals for you and your team members that will show the overall performance and also gamify work. Dashboards is a great place where you can create your own dashboards and display information about your projects based on specific metrics. Forms is another feature that you can use to add tasks to your projects in an easy way. You can also share the forms with people that don't have access to ClickUp. In the settings, you will find the trash folder. If you deleted something but you want it back, you will find it here. This is a great feature to have and I don't see it in many other apps. Finally, I wanted to mention the Click Apps tab in the settings. Here you will find a lot of features that you can turn on or off based on your needs. Let's talk about customization. You can change the way the general layout looks and also the accent colors. Also, the views are really customizable here. You can have a different view for each section of your spaces. The Everything tab can have a view and then the Space or Projects tab in this case can be set up with a different view. Also, at a project level, they can have their own personalized view. You can also create multiple spaces that will help you organize the information the way you want. For example, you can divide the projects by type, or maybe you can have two folders, one with general projects and the other one with important projects only. Another customization feature is that you can add custom fields, but this only works at a task level. Finally, we're going to mention templates. You can create templates for your projects, tasks, and even spaces, and use them when you create a new record. You can also see other templates that come with ClickUp already. Let's review automations. I'm going to start saying that when you're setting up an automation, be aware that you have to do it at a project or space level. So the automation triggers when you make any changes to the project. If you do it at a list level, the automations will only trigger on the tasks inside the list. When you save a project template, the automations will also be saved. With automations, you can send email notifications, as well as updating fields, adding tasks, and more. The basics are all covered, but it has some limitations. For example, you can't assign an unassigned task to the project owner automatically when the task is created. You have to set up this option manually. Regarding integrations, ClickUp is ready to work with a lot of apps. 
There are a lot of integrations ready to set up in the integrations tab. You will find Slack, Microsoft Teams, Google Drive, Zoom, and more. It also integrates with Gmail and Outlook, Google Calendar, Calendly, several time tracking apps, and Zapier. Zapier helps ClickUp to talk to apps that don't have a native integration. If you want to know more about Zapier, please check out the videos I made about it. If you're going to be the admin of ClickUp, you're going to have a good time. When you start a setup, a lot of well-made videos guide you through the basics. The only thing you have to pay attention to is the hierarchy. Once you understand how it works, you can set up templates, customizations, and automations. But make sure you're not setting something up at a lower level that won't work at a higher level. Adding users and groups is very simple, as well as creating templates and setting up automations. Turning on and off features can be done from the ClickUp page, and setting up integrations is straightforward. The last thing we're going to go over is price. The version review in this video is the business one, which is $19 per user per month, billed monthly. This places ClickUp in the medium range, but it has a lot of good features that could help you streamline your process. The unlimited version has a few less features, but it could be great for a business that is just starting. It is $9 per user per month, which is way more accessible. They offer trial periods for both versions in case you want to try before buy. I recommend ClickUp to any small or medium business that is looking for an easy to set up flexible project manager. It is hard not to recommend this app because it has a lot of features available in a lot of integrations. Also, the support team is great, and I really like the design and user interface, which makes it easy to navigate. Also, being able to embed other apps or websites to any project is really good. The only downside would be the price, but if you're looking for something that just works, this is for you. Other alternatives, if you're looking for something less expensive, are Soho Projects or Trello. And if you're looking for more features, you can try Xana, but it is more expensive. I will leave links of the apps I reviewed in the video description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a project management software? And if you do, which are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.